you know, in life you have, you know, things that drive you, things that motivate you, things that keep you going, things that get you excited. You always have to remember where you were, what you said when you started your journey. Whatever your journey is, whatever you decided that your journey was, you always have to remember where you were. One of the easiest ways to do that is, why are you doing it in the first place? Hey, why did you chart off on this journey? Why did you decide that this was something you wanted to do? Is it big, is it small, but why? So you've heard the term, what is your why? And when you think about your why, it could be anything. It could be, it could be your family, it could be your spouse, it could be you know, a, a guidance counselor that told you weren't gonna be something. It could be to prove something to someone else. It could be your, your kids. It could be show your kids that this can be done, that you're not gonna be a quitter, that you're not going to, that you can build a legacy, that you can provide for them at the level you feel you could. Why? But write it down. It could be you wanna prove something to yourself. It could be, hey, I need to do this so I can develop these skills. Why? Doesn't matter what the why is, it has to be strong enough to drive you when you say you wanna quit. And by the way, we all have a tap out point and we all have thoughts of tapping out. So I'm here to tell you that you don't have the market cornered on trying to tap out. And you don't have the market cornered on the walls that will close in on you at some point in your life where you feel under immense duress. Congratulations. You do not have the market cornered. I've been through this many times. As many times I've looked at my situation around me and said, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I don't know if I can keep going. I don't know if I can keep going in this. Happens in marriage all the time. Happens with parents all the time. Unfortunately, happens with jobs, happens with careers, happens with businesses, happens with passions. The thing that's gonna keep you going when you go, I don't know if I can keep doing this, is the why that you wrote down. The thing that you have to remember and you have to remember it. It's like when I get married, I can't say to my wife, I love you, honey, on day one of marriage and think that the words I love you are gonna stick for life. That's not true. That's not going to happen. If I don't repeatedly say to my wife, I love you, I love you, honey. Hey baby, I just wanna let you know, you look amazing and I love you. Hey baby, I just want you to know, I was thinking about you today, I love you. If I don't do that regularly, you better believe she's gonna believe that I don't love her because I don't express it. It's not a one-time thing. Neither is your why. The reason you want write it down is so you can review it, visit it, put it up in different parts of your house, put it up in different parts of your office, put it on in your car, put it in your notes in your phone. Find a way to remember why you're doing this, why you embarked on this journey in the very first place because on most journeys, there's going to be extreme valleys. And if you're doing it right, there's gonna be some extreme peaks. But in those valleys, you got snow, blizzards, desert storms, hurricanes, wind, rain, wind storms, rain storms, sleet storms, hail storms. Bruh, it comes. And if you don't remember why, you could find yourself in some deep trouble on the tap out button. I'm here for y'all. I want to remind you that your why is why you started and it's why you're going to keep going. Love y'all. Hope this helps.